So here we are in my pump house, like I've seen in here before. That's the automatic transfer switch in the panels to the house and the shop. And the uh, power disconnect from my local electrical utility. Some changes that have been made in here are I ran the boiler to this radiator over here. You can see the pipe coming up through the floor. And I can just adjust this valve here, and I keep it about, uh, I don't let it get below about 40 degrees in here. That way, I don't have to worry about my well freezing, anything else. I set this, comes on automatically, heats, just works on convention, no pump, just the water goes through there. It, it's been working better than expected. Um, so some other changes I've made to the generator is, I uh, the cord there you can see. On the outside of the building, I put an auxiliary plug. So say my, my big generator stops working and have a problem with it, I can use the cord, plug it in on the outside there, and have a backup generator to the backup generator. So those are some changes that have been made. So let's go outside and look at the generator setup. So here's the generator setup. Roughly a 180 gallon fuel tank. I have a manual pump up there so I can fill my tractor, excavator, whatever, diesel. I can just pump it out to what I need to. Um, and a 50 kW generator. So this year I've already lost power three times. Uh, twice last night as a matter of fact. And as soon as the power shuts off, it's about a five second delay and the generator automatically starts. This generator will run my house, my shop, will run everything. A little overkill, but I got a good deal on the generator. So I uh, let it, left it uncovered this winter, uh, making sure everything was going to work okay, and then I'm going to build um, just a sloped roof over the top of it, around three sides, uh, just to help keep the weather off and still uh, allow me access from one side. Here's the outside of the pump house there. You can see that outlet which allows me to plug an auxiliary generator in case the big one has a malfunction, won't start, whatever. Just, uh, you know the saying, two is one, one is none. So, so this is the boiler line, the big, I guess that would be five inch corrugated. Water's coming up. It's got a special valve there that returns the water to the boiler if it gets below like 170. It's just like a automotive thermostat in your car just closes and returns it. Have it going along the wall here. Here's the furnace I have in the shop. This was originally an oil furnace. Converted it to waste oil, diesel, and then I had this plenum built for the heat exchanger and eventually I'm going to have this ducted across the shop. Just haven't really decided if this is exactly where I want it because I have to have a chimney that I have kind of temporarily going through the window. But uh, yeah. Works very well. Heats the shop nicely. Here's where the Supply and return go into the heat exchanger that's inside there. Air blows across there, out. There's the tri fuel furnace. The beer keg is waste oil. The yellow uh, fuel container is diesel. And you can see the water plumbed in up above. Works great. There's one of the backup generators I have. That one is a gas, gas powered. 8,000 watt and there's another generator I have there I I believe it's another 8,000 it's diesel so I have a diesel I can have that use that diesel out of the tank from the big one pump right into that gas cap on the top or the gas one um, two is one one is none three is better Here's another thing. Last time I filmed, this was all mud and the ditches for the power over to the shop. And so I found all these rocks on my property. 
built this retaining wall, backfilled it, and now I have a drive all the way around my shop. So I can pull up and have a trailer or my motor home, which I isn't here, but will be eventually. You can drive it around the shop instead of having to back up, try to jack around, and it's not much room up there in the front.